Glad you're with us on a Friday night as the nation continues to observe Fire Prevention Week. One might be surprised to learn not much help is out there being offered to those who to preserve their own mental health. News and ABC's James Del Fuente speaking today with fire officials in the region explaining developments for firefighters' mental health. Firefighters see a plethora of emergency situations that can take a toll on their mental health. Most folks who fight with it, it's not a big one like a 9-11, God forbid. It's a bunch of traumas, a bunch of things seen. It's, if you will, death by a thousand paper cuts. We know and there's a more and more scientific and medical evidence to show that that builds up. John D'Alessandro of the Firefighters Association for the state of New York says there's a key factor that could provide the difference between life and death, especially when you're working as a team and you're only as strong as your weakest link. The first and most important thing on a path to getting over experience a traumatic event is talk, talking about it. Chief Joseph Gregory of the Albany Fire Department saying that the department is very proactive in training, safety, and the well-being of their firefighters. The department has a peer support team to effectively recognize and respond to another firefighter or family member who is experiencing emotional or physical symptoms due to acute high-stress incidents. There are three goals in place to help mitigate things like PTSD and other mental health issues. The first of those goals being advocating, recognition, and awareness of mental and emotional wellness. The second is to provide resources to members and their families during personal and professional crises. The third is to be a liaison between members and support resources. It's a complicated problem, but at the same time, it's a simple problem. It's complicated in the sense it, that it manifests itself differently in different people. And the FASNI telling News 10 in the next couple of months, they plan on an extensive overhaul in the process for seeking mental health help for firefighters. It's not a sign of weakness. We have to get over that, that uh, you know, age old image of a firefighter being made of granite. Reporting in Albany, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC. Tonight, fire